you never know how important the fan is until you move in with a girl. And then you're like, because when I was a kid, I didn't even, the fan button, I, I thought it didn't work. I didn't even know there was a fan up there. I didn't understand what a fan, why would you have a fan in the bathroom? Until you move in with a girl and, and you, you, you praise the fan. The fan is the most essential thing in that bathroom yeah. is that fan. Yeah. Push it that clears button. it pretty fast. It clears it. and I mean, it, not to mention the condensation from a hot shower, but the fart smell, the shit smell is gone. It's gone. I mean, it takes three minutes, but it doesn't take 40 minutes. That, dude, you, you don't you, have- You a, close the door and a shit smell? Oh. It's there for a day, almost. You'll, you'll change the color of the paint on the wall. my best here to not have you see this 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 junk I'm uh, acutely aware of the vibe right nowadays of sexual harassment in the workplace I would say though that this is not sexual harassment I would say that this is disgusting harassment but also, it's the job. Uh, what am I? What's the other option? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. So just because I have a fucking female editor, what am I supposed to not uh, do an introduction on our podcast about poop from taking a, a a poop on the toilet? I don't think so. The only other option is to not hire women, and that's not fair. So I'm just gonna do my best to not show my D while I'm doing this. I'm not showing my A, uh, YouTube. I'm not showing my A, so please don't demonetize this or take it down. There's no A being shown here at all. And there's no D being shown here at all. Welcome to Ari Shafir's Skeptic Tape, episode 489, Poop. On today's episode, Bobby Kelly is coming in. We're going to talk about shit. We're going to talk all about shit. All about taking them, about diarrhea, about fucking pooping your pants, about anything to do with poop. It's shit. It's shit. It's a shit episode, you guys. But it's not a shitty episode. It's an episode about shit. I'm Ari Shafir, and I'm going to have Bobby Kelly come in. And I'm trying to leave a fucking hot one for him. I'm trying to leave somehow. There's got to be a way. My plan is this. Bobby's coming over in about in about uh, about an hour. And um, he's going to do this podcast with me. And I'm trying to leave the dump in here and try to trick him somehow into looking at that dump. I don't know how to do it. I'll figure it out. I'm Ari Shafir and I stand for mayhem. And if you stand for mayhem, you figure it out. Uh, on today's episode, Bobby Kelly, you might know him as a, as a great comedian, as a podcaster himself. He's on the podcast. Uh, he runs a podcast. You know what, dude? YKWD. It's available right now everywhere. I've been on there ah, 10, 15 times already. Um, but right now, we're not talking about his podcast. We're talking about this one. It's a podcast about poop. It's about shit. Bobby, something that's not shitty, has his own special out. On Louis C.K. right now, louisck.com, L-O-U-I-S-C-K.com. If you don't want to uh, go that way, you can go to robertkellylive.com, and that redirects to Louis C.K. Kind of reminds me of uh, when uh, Mel Gibson, when he had those anti-Semitic uh, rants, and um, and I'm trying so hard not to show my D if you're watching the YouTube version, youtube.com slash Ari Shafir. You want to subscribe right now. I had a new stand-up clip up there last week, a good riff. With a woman in the audience. Not fake crowd work. Actual riffing crowd work. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so when when uh, Mel Gibson had all the anti-Semitic stuff. Um, which, by the way, he, he had some good points. He went a little far. He shouldn't have said it to a cop. But he had some good points. Um, my friends didn't want to support him. So he had this movie about uh, about the Mayans. You know, the ancient Mayans. Um a paralicto or something like that, something ecto. Anyway, he didn't want to support Mel Gibson, so he bought a ticket to Happy Feet and he snuck in to the Mel Gibson movie so that Mel Gibson wouldn't make the money. So if you still 
or a dumb fuck that has a problem with Louis, then go to robertkellylive.com and get the, it will be a redirect to louisck.com. But you can somehow tell your friends that you bought it a different way and that you're a dumb fuck. Um, so today's all about, uh, about poop. I think I'm almost done here. Um, um, what was I going to say about, it? oh, I got to tell you about Sober October. I got to tell you about Sober October. I had just the most magical time there was. Um, how shall I start this? I should tell you about my dates. I'm going to be in Philadelphia, October 20th through the 22nd um, at Helium Comedy Club. Get tickets at AriShafir.com, October 20th, 21st, 22nd. And then uh, later dates, Portland is almost is selling out. I think the late show, late, early show Friday, early show Saturday is both sold out. Um, hurry up and get tickets. That's in November. Uh, in December, I got Dallas, first, second, and third at Hyenas. And then... Um, Wise Guys in Salt Lake City in January, uh, Tampa, Florida in February. Uh, I guess I'm not supposed to announce it, but Vancouver's coming in February. Um, I don't know what else. And then Europe will be in April, which I'm excited about. Um, trying to go to one, get at least one new country in that April April run. Because i got to get my second country. And I think from some suggestions on the Rolf Potts episode, I think... By the way, I'm trying to hook up Rolf Potts with, with Burt Kreischer. I think they'd be a good match, right? Rolf Potts and Burt Kreischer. Burt is a traveler at heart. He really is. And I think he'd love Burt. Um, I mean, I think he'd love Rolf. I think they'd have a great conversation. I didn't tell Tom or Rogan about it, but I think Burt and, and Rolf would have a fucking great discussion. So for Sober October, I should let you know, I had a slip up. I had a slip up because, so let me tell you something. Uh, the, the deal is do 100 push-ups a day and do 500 calories a day. And, and um, the 100 push-ups is nearly impossible for me. I've been doing knee push-ups and I've barely been getting there as it is. But I have a thing I do that I did on this podcast a long, long time ago before I taped my uh, paid regular. Um, I did a podcast with Dean Del Rey in LA before I recorded paid regular. We both decided that diabetes was coming for us and we had to do something before it's too late. So we're like, let's do one day a week without sugar. Wednesdays. Every Wednesday, no sugar. And I know if bread turns to sugar, I ain't talking about that. They're doing some fucking work on the apartment next door. So if you can hear it, I'm sorry. Um, one day a week with no sugar. And so Wednesdays. But there are certain times where you just have to do it. You, you go to uh, your grandmother's house and, and she's like, I made you this pie all for you. And it's Wednesday. You can't say, no, I don't do sugar on Wednesday. You can't. It'd be insulting. You're staying with some fucking uh, Mayan uh, 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 family or some family in the Amazon. And they go, we made you these sweets just for you because we knew you were coming. You'd be an asshole not to do it. So you make up, you eat that. Uh, then you go the rest of the day without eating. You don't, do, you don't just say, well, I fucked up for the day. I can eat whatever I want. You, do, you just eat some of their pie. And then for the rest of the day, you don't eat. And then the next day, you make up for it. You have to make up for it. So I've done a podcast before about what it's like to go to do Joe Rogan, uh, the Joe Rogan episode, Joe Rogan experience. And how amazing it is and how great they treat you and how you do Kill Tony and how it's just a fucking great time. I went and I did a Sober October podcast with uh brad and tom and bert and joe uh, fuck. and then afterwards i was going home that day uh, uh, tom and, and bert went right to their uh private planes straight from the fucking podcast went straight to private planes to destroy the environment i had a regular flight uh scheduled for 6 p.m to just a little bit destroy the environment and joe rogan said i just interviewed roger waters the day before and i was like uh well i can I have an extra ticket if you want to go to Roger Waters. I can't, man. I can't. I gotta. Uh, I gotta go home. I flight. And Joe, I mean, he's fucking nuts, dude. He goes, "Well, I'll just change your flight." Didn't I get you a first class flight? And I'm like, "You did." I don't even think he said it's it's free changes, but it is on Delta. Delta.com, a new sponsor. Of <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, and he goes, "I'll get you a new flight." I'm like, "Why well, don't I have a hotel?" But he goes, "I'll get you another hotel." Got me Roger Waters tickets and another hotel. And I took a first flight the next day. That's the joy of being a comedian. You have a little freedom. You got to appreciate it. So I stayed and I watched Roger Waters. And I felt just like it's disrespectful to go to a fucking grandmother's house and not eat her pie. 
It's disrespectful to go to a Roger Waters concert and not be on some acid. So I made a deal. I made a deal with the guys. How about I add either another 500 calories or 100 sit-ups to the deal? And I got back in my text thread, yes. So now it's time to pay the piper. So now I got to do fucking 100 sit-ups every day. Sit-ups I can somehow do. And cardio I can do. I cannot do the push-ups. I've gotten better at it. I can do 10 in a row now. Before my max was four. No, I did five the first day. And then my arms went to jelly. Um, You heard it here first. We're going to do another wrap-up on November 1st. Probably be out November 2nd, 3rd, or 4th, or 5th, or 6th, or 7th. Depending on Rogan's schedule. Um, I said it's got to be at night. So it won't be out in the first. It's got to be out second or earliest. Probably third or fourth. Because I'm going to be fucking partying. How am I going to break my fucking sobriety? I think I'm going to go a long shot. And I'm going to go whippets or nitrous or some shit like that. I'm going to go the other way. When you zig, I zag. Yeah, but I had a weakness. I took some acid. I found some acid. Because that's what I'm, that's what I'm, that's what I do. I'm Ari Shafir. I found some acid. Um, I'm going to talk all about this on a episode of Tuesdays with Stories. I feel like this story will go better on Tuesdays with Stories than it will on this podcast. So let leave it to this that I had the most magical experience of my life. I had to reunite with old friends. I got to see maybe the best show I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm going to talk about it on Tuesdays with Stories. And that episode will be out the day my special's out, which might be November 2nd. It might be. I still got a plan exactly it. I'm not fully finished with the fucking sound editing. It's, it's taking me longer than I thought. But it might be November 2nd. And it probably will be on my own YouTube account, youtube.com slash Shafir. So I would subscribe now so you're aware when it comes out. Subscribe right now. Just hit the subscribe button. If you're, if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or anything like that, go to YouTube right now. Open it while you're listening. Hit subscribe. And then close it back out. Um. <sighs> Anyway, but my point is, I didn't take anything else. Though I was offered marijuana, and I was offered alcohol, and I was on acid while I was offered those things, so my my fucking uh, uh, stuff was down, my judgment was down, I didn't partake. I only took one small hit of acid. And I'll tell you why. Because my friend Matt Stagg said it. Religious exemption. You're going to a fucking Roger Water concert, it's disrespectful not to be on a little bit of acid. And if there's one thing you know about me, Ari Shafir, it's I'm respectful. I respect people. I honor situations. Leanne Kreischer would say different. But um, the point is, I'm respectful to situations. And I have to be on acid. You have to. It's Roger Waters, man. And it was the best concert of my life. It was so fucking good. If you got a chance to go see him on this tour, go see him on this tour. And then it got even more magical after that. What a fucking day. Meeting up with my friends Tom and Brad and Joe. (sighs) fucking seeing Jamie and and the Bruce and the guys and then like from oh my god dude I, I just can't get over it Joe you you treat comedians I mean it's on another level and I, I've told him this before the only reason I'm ever nice to comedians and promote comics you've seen me you've seen my Instagram account if you should if you want to follow it I don't do much I don't post long diatribes about politics I post my dates I post some fun stuff Occasional pictures of me with other comics or in weird situations. Um, But mostly, or a lot, I post clips of stand-ups that I think you should know about. Stand-ups that I find funny. So if you're looking for fun entertainment, go subscribe right now to my Instagram account. Instagram.com slash Ari Shafir. And the reason I do that is because Joe is so kind to me over the years that I feel like the only way I can pay him back, it's not with money. He's got more money than I could even fucking ever steal in my entire life. I steal constantly. I can never make it up. Um, I pay it forward. That's what I do. Um, so I try to support other comics. That's all I can do. And he treats me so fucking good that it's like, I mean, you know, I'll get tickets for Reggie Conquest to the Dallas Cowboy game for the second time in a row. Two times we've been in Dallas. Two times we're going to go to a Cowboy game. Last time they were given to me. This time, hopefully they will be too. Um, anyway, you guys, let's start the episode. This episode is, oh, okay. I got to wipe this out. How am I going to trick Bobby into watching this? Don't forget to go watch Bobby Kelly's uh, special right now. LouisCK.com. Buy it. He worked five fucking years on it, you guys. Anytime you see a comic rush through stuff, with the exception of Sam Morrill, um, 
and put up a special within a year after they recorded it, with the exception of Sam Morrill. That guy works harder than anybody. Um, chances are they just like the fucking... Chances are higher that they like the fucking respect they got out of the last special and they just want to rip another one out. Bobby Kelly waited five years. When you have a high-level comic waiting five years, it's going to be a great fucking special. So not only will it be a great special, but also for 10 bucks, you should throw him that money to support high-level stand-up comedy. If you like him on this podcast that you never pay for, throw 10 bucks in, and in return, you get one of the best specials you're going to see. You're going to laugh your ass off. You can share it with your dad this Thanksgiving. Why not? Buy it, own it, share it with your parents. Watch it. It is for family. Your whole family can watch it. That's the cool thing about Bobby. My special is just for you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, let's start the episode. Right? I'm not going to do a fucking ad read for three for better help from the toilet. That seems that seems wrong. So let's start the episode. Are you fear skeptic tank episode? 489. I think it's that. It could be 490. Poop with Bobby Kelly starts now. Bandit, you excited? Your friend's here. Hi, Bandit. Ben. Your friend's here. Wow. Well, look how fucking wild she gets. <laughs> she, her butt just goes fucking nuts. Does Doodles do that? Yeah. As she soon as she's oh, she's like, what the fuck? And then she'll pee. She's what, so excited. What the fuck? Oh, she pees. That's bad. What the fuck happened? I don't understand. I don't understand. I looked it up. It's 22 minutes, dude. Buddy. Oh, you want to go over it real quick? Yeah, I would love to. Okay, get the car. Great. So get far, out, so good. Get get out. Take the hit the directions. Let me just put it in. Go right there. Okay. Right? Go there. Uh, it says take a left on thirty fourth. Backed up. Lady wouldn't let me take a left, so I, I just go straight down ninth. I take a left on the next street. Uh, street. There's a. What do you mean, uh, lady wouldn't? Wait, wait, back up. What's the, the, the cop lady oh, wouldn't okay. let me take a left because I was in cops? the cops. What's this world coming to? Of course, it's crime. And then I go down the other street. So I go down there. There's a movie. So there's all these trucks and shit. Oh, so I got to wait for the trucks to get out and they're doing all this shit. Yeah. I get all the way down the end of the street and it's closed. 20 or something like Closed off. Like just, They just shut streets down now. Was there a, like, there's a metal bar. You can't go down here. And there's a guy going, whatever construction, whatever fucking AC unit they were putting on, on top of a building, whatever they were doing. You can't go down here. I gotta go Google Maps includes that. Doesn't not now because I go up. I did Apple Maps. I know I fucked up. You know why? You know why? Because Apple's woke and they won't allow. If it's a if it's a delayed due to black people or ethnics, they don't include it. It was in the projects. Yeah, I gotta go back up. Yeah. So now I go back up. I go down another street. Guess what's there? What school buses? There's a school. Apple Maps doesn't say there's a school and what time school is getting out. They can't put all oh, the buses are there now. One bus is double parked, blocking the whole street. So people start beeping the horn. Yeah. What, no, school bus? School bus. Fucking the kids are not our future. No, they're not. They're, they're, they're our now. future. They're a pain in your ass. Yeah. So then I got to go across town all the way down. Then I get to this neighborhood and there's not- I, to I told you there's no parking here. I told you you should have taken said, a cab. I, we said cab. I we said, agreed cab. You said walk. It's said, 53 minutes. I said I said walk. You said drive. I said that's crazy. It's so you, long. You 53 didn't say minutes. cab. No, you said cab. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not. I had my car. Pull it up. Oh, wow. You already know I'm this right. Is what you already know I'm right. I don't know <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I just know you. But it's, in, it's coming into your brain that I might be right. You might be right, but I doubt you're right. Ready? Yeah. I need my glasses. I can't see. But oh, on, how convenient that your on. eyesight suddenly went bad. My eyes has been bad. Uh-huh. You, uh, you, uh, okay. 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 Where is it? I think you're right. Nope. That's it. I bug me. Nope, that's not it. Joe DeRosa is a... Nope, that's not it. Fuck her. She's a cunt. Nope, that's oh, not it. I don't know who we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, oh, your dog. Okay, here it is. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, I have a... Uh, are we garbage at 12? I'll yep. walk over from there. That's too far to walk. Yeah, 53 okay. minutes, I would say it's too far. I'll cab. You're right. I fucked up. I should have cabbed. Listen, the it's fact still that... The, it's, no, the cab would have gotten you here. The, the cab, cab would have known. You know okay. the cab drivers know it. Like that, that's like it's like they're still in Punjab, and, and they have a connection with some sort of uh, magic. They have a genie with them or something. Right. It lets you know. I talked to a cab driver last night. Mm -hmm. We got to get to poop, and he was telling me how he learned the system, so he knows all the lights to make when it's like green, 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 green. I used to know that. Yeah, and he said it's four codes: day, night, weekend, weekend, weekday. 
Right. And he said his told his all his friends like you got to write a book, you got to write a book, and then Waze came out, and he was like, it's too late. I should have used Waze. Yeah, or Google Maps. Or I should have just left my car where it was, yeah. and I took my truck, which is mind boggling. I shouldn't have took my. I should have took the little Don's car. Yeah, to I the fucked city? up. Dude, I fucked up. I just I left this morning. I had a dentist appointment. I just left. Did you bring I, my push up things? They're in my truck. Nice. Yeah. A mile from here. That's why I brought the truck. <laughs> That's a reach, dude. Listen. It, and speaking of reach, yes. you need to reach around in order to wipe. Today I want to talk to Bobby about poop. <laughs> it's, a, it's a shit it's shit cast. I'm glad you're talking about it because my poop has changed so much. Over the years or recently? Recently with the wow. with the gastric sleeve surgery. Interesting. My poop is so different now. I mean in what way? Is it like squeakier? For most of the time, because I'm eating so clean, uh -huh. I shit like a dog. Like it's just a perfect shit that comes out. Yeah. And my asshole pinches it off, and then it's done. And I wow. wipe a little bit. There's maybe a little, and then I'm I'm out. Like I don't even need the bidet. But every once in a while, I'll eat something that I don't know what. Like yesterday, I had soup and some chicken, and I had just. You know, my asshole puked. What, just diarrhea? Yeah, it was just a bad diarrhea. Okay, I'm, this this is gonna be a this is gonna be a, a wild uh, topic. We need to get with like a lot of different things. You got a pen on you? No, I'll get one. Why would you say no so quickly? I do have a pen. Let me have it's it. It's out there. Ah, I forgot it. Okay. Um, there's so much to discuss with poops, from the first poops to you know what I mean when you're little. Uh, uh, and that reminds me changing another person's poop Dude. uh pooping in public by accident yeah. uh 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 hards softs diarrheas girlfriend's uh, poop shitting your pants go girlfriend's poop dude wow that is a big that's a step up let's start there well i had a my first girlfriend my first love Kristen. first set of two uh what what first female uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> First, first vagina love. Yeah, <laughs> it's the worst. That's the worst about doing it this way is that you get paranoid that Constantly. these it stupid phones you didn't charge them. And it won't be the last time. I'll I'll do it again during this episode. You got two new phones. I got two. I got five new phones. I might have to return two, three for the road. Can I buy? Can I buy two? Yeah. Why right. to well, record? What did you think about that? You gonna return them or just get the money? Yeah, I'm thinking of doing a three for like the road ones, but maybe okay. I'll use the, uh, anyway, yeah. Anyways, yeah, Fufus was her name. Fufus? Love of my life. Yeah. I mean, first girlfriend. First, I, you know, got sober, had it together, going to school, had a job, met her at the job. I mean, fell in love the first night, ate her ass the first night I met her. <laughs> this brings us to poop. <laughs> and, and we started doing all, we started camping, like she, she a city chick. Oh. And we went camping on our prom. We went up to the White Mountains and we camped for a week, which everybody else went to like hotels or yeah. down south. You know, we went up in the woods, which I loved. With no witnesses. With nothing. She loved like skiing. Tried to get me to go skiing forever. I was like, I don't ski. Fuck skiing. I don't know how this is gonna get to the topic, but I'm I'm interested because I know you're headed there. Takes me to Loon Mountain. I'm built. I'm like whatever. I had to buy all the stuff. She bought the outfit and. I get to the thing, I come down this, you know, medium slope and and the, it's snowing. It's almost dark out. It's snowing so bad. Yeah. And I come down by myself and I'm I'm going back and forth. It was one I can remember it. It was one of the most spiritual my god, thank you. Like wow, this is awesome what I'm doing right now. I get to the bottom of the mountain. She's standing there right in front of the 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 big, you know, place you go in, whatever they call it, ski house. And she's just standing there. I go, "I'm sorry for fighting you on this." That was one of the most spiritual, beautiful things I've ever done in my life. Yeah. Coming down this mountain when it was snowing up by myself almost. And she was like, we have to go. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, <laughs> I go, wow, wow, what the fuck are you talking about? She goes, I I'm sick. I go, what do you mean you're sick? She got a stomach virus and shit her bunny suit, her little ski suit. No. Filled it. Uh, she had G-string underwear on. Oh. Uh, 
I had to go back to the little cottage we rented for the weekend. We we're gonna have this romantic weekend, and just and she only had uh, three pairs of underwear. She shit through all of them. <laughs> she kept shitting. What she eat? I don't know. She, she got a stomach virus. <laughs> She, I remember she. I was just in. I filled the. I would just fill the tub up with water and clean her underwear. Yeah. And she would just go back in the other room and have to go like back and forth and just shit. And she would little squirts in her. I mean, it was <laughs> a squirts of, enough. A squirts enough. A squirt. For if it's in your underwear, a squirts enough. It's ruined your underwear. You maybe you could wash it. You got to go fast. But if you don't have a washing machine, it's done. Dude, it was. I was seeing stuff that she ate. You know what I mean? Oh, like, come on, dude. It was the worst. It was the worst. I never, I never really looked at it the same way again. You know what I mean? It was I couldn't get over it. It took me. It took me a long time to get over her shit. Do you smell your wife's? Like, does she like turn the fan on, or do you like? Hey, never, fuck. never seen her shit. I smelled it though. Later, never see, smelled it. One time, two times she's left, and we've had discussions. She left a skid, like a shit skid. I don't know what it is. She left. Maybe a a, a, a a creature. Um maybe. She left a shit skid and I was like, Don, n- no nope. joke. You can't do that. Like I can't <laughs> ever know that you shit. And uh one time she told me as I was going to take a shit, she goes, You don't want to do that. You don't want to go in there. You don't want to do that. And I was, What are you talking about? And I went w- one little and I walked the fuck out. <laughs> Dude, was, I had a girlfriend that was like environmental environmentally conscious oh, and, fuck she, and she want to she didn't you know she's always turned the lights off that's fine okay fine 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 you don't save money and environment on the fan the fan just use the fan you, just you, turn it on and it was always she was always like oh i didn't know you're gonna go in there fast. like just always air oh, i didn't know you're gonna come home always air on the side of the fan and then if i walk in i'm like why is the fan on there's no smell and turn it off no harm no foul you never know how important the fan is until you move in with a girl and then you're like Cause when I was a kid, I didn't even the fan button. I, I thought it didn't work. I didn't even know there was a fan up there. I didn't understand what a fan. Why would you have a fan in the bathroom? Until you move in with a girl and, and you you, you praise the fan. The fan is the most essential thing in that bathroom. Yeah. Is that fan? Yeah. Push it that clears button it pretty fast. It clears it, and I mean, it, not to mention the condensation from a hot shower, but the fart smell, the shit smell. Is gone. It's gone. I mean, it takes three minutes, but it doesn't take forty minutes. That, dude, you you don't you, have you a, close the door and a shit smell. Oh, it's there for a day almost. You'll, you'll change the color of the paint on the wall. I mean, <laughs> you ever fart in your car right before you right before you go shopping, and you come back in like two hours later? You're like, oh, it's still it's all but you, sealed. But you, why do we enjoy it? Like, I, there's something about it where it's because like, we're scientists at heart. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have to do this working out for Sober October and uh, and do this heart monitor. So I finished my, you get 500 calories a day. I finished mine and I was going to the Schwitz to just cool up, you know? Yeah. And I was like, let me wear it. And everybody there was like, what are you doing? And I was like testing to see. He's like, are you going room to room to see like if the hot or the steam or what? Is that? I'm like, no, but that should be, that's next. And everyone's like, well, let me know. Everybody wants to know. Yeah. What does it do to your blood pressure? What is it, how many calories are you burning? It's fucking interesting. We're scientists. Yeah, we are scientists. <laughs> Today's episode of Ari Shafir's Skeptic Tank Podcast is brought to you by BetterHelp.com. Guys, BetterHelp.com is not a crisis hotline. It is therapy. It's online therapy, and you should go get some. Maybe you're losing your mind. Maybe you're flipped out on acid, and you're getting stuck that way. Sid, Sid went crazy, you know? Maybe you're going crazy, too. Well, go to BetterHelp.com. There's no reason to be crazy, you guys. I get it. Uh, it's too hard to sit in your car and, and go to a, a, a therapy session. It's too hard to, to to pay all the money. Well, BetterHelp.com is cheaper. You do it right out of the right out of the comfort of your own home. BetterHelp.com. B e t t e r h e l p dot com. It's not a crisis hotline. If you're looking for a crisis hotline, I don't have to tell you. It's not. A, it's not a crisis hotline. They match you up with the therapist of your choice. You can switch easy. You don't even have to call them and tell them, like, hey, I don't want to do it anymore. You just go right to the system and be like, I don't like that guy. Just get me somebody else. Uh, I have had friends that have done it and they've gotten a lot out of it. Um, I should probably do it myself soon. Uh, just getting ready for my special. I should probably get on there too. Betterhelp.com. If you use promo code Ari at checkout, you get 10% off your first month. That's win-win. That's win-win. Again, that's betterhelp.com. It's online therapy. Uh, there's all these great portals. You can like, if you're having a problem and you don't, you don't have a session right then, you're not thinking about it, you're high on acid at a, at a Pink Floyd concert, um, then sure, just write it in there uh, and then they'll deal with it when they meet you. 
uh, meet with you. Betterhelp.com. Use promo code RA. Check out for 10% off your order. Now let's get back to this fine episode with Robert Kelly. Guys, today's episode of Ari Shafir's Skeptic Tank is brought to you by that guy who dealt me the acid. That guy who dealt me the acid, I had one of the greatest concerts of my life because you brought me the acid that you had freshly dipped. Yeah, that's right. I dried it out in the vent of a fucking car on the way to the concert. I opened up that thing and I, tr I just held the air conditioning on and I dried it out as best I could. And you had me flying. So the guy who dealt me the acid, this episode of Ari Shafir's Skeptic Tank is properly brought to you by you who got me to another place. I can't think of a better thing to do at a Roger Waters concert than acid. Thanks, guy who got me the acid. Now, back to the episode. There's something about a fart smell. First of all, and we've said this before. Yeah. We've said it on other shows. The, the king of comedy is the fart. King of comedy is the fart. You know, and, and I think the queen is a shit. The fart really, yeah, it's the rare. It's the, mm, yeah, it's the queen because it's more powerful. Chest, chest style, the king is the one you got to protect, yeah. you know, but queen is the most powerful piece. I think the, and the shit the is shit, the most powerful. If Dude, there's nothing better when you're near somebody <laughs> that's going to shit their pants. You, you, I mean, I've prayed for it. Like, I, I desire it more than, like, fame or money. Have you ever done this, the crossover, when you have to shit and cross your legs to hold it tighter? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. How about, you know, I, yesterday I did, um, you got to do it again? You're just paranoid, huh? No, no, I got to see if I have a pen. Keep going. Yesterday Grab my bag. Yesterday. I went to, uh, I did Chrissy D's podcast. Yeah. And I had to shit in the car on the way over to Staten Island. And I had to just, when I got there, just let him know, like, bro, we can start this podcast, but I have to shit. But I have to shit. I have to shit very bad. Like, this is no joke. And there was a girl there, too. So it was like, it was like this is legit. Yeah. And I held it for the podcast, but his couch is very low. Like, these chairs are nice high. I could hold the shit. You low, and, that's a squat. You, yeah, you're just, a, you're just an Asian person trying to take a shit out in the jungle. Yeah. Look at Bandit looking at the cocketeers. Yeah. I set up nicely for this one. Oh, nice cocketeer. Let me get the phone out of there. That's a nice cocketeer. Now, that's a nice shit right there. That looks real. That looks real. I got to go. I'm hoping I might cut this out. What I want to do is go to Sal's because he's always like, Bandit can come over whenever. But yeah. he protects his his bedroom carpet like it was his his mom. <laughs> like, he's like, you, nothing can happen to the bedroom carpet. It's yeah. not, it's got his plush. Don't yeah. your shoes are you out of your mind? You can't right. have your shoes in there. And Bandit will like start to walk. He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and this looks so fucking yeah. real yeah. that I just want to be like, Bandit, get out of there, and then just leave it in the corner. Oh, we got this in um, Mexico City at one of those yeah. little stands. It yeah, this so one doesn't look real. That one does not look real. But this that body? looks real. That looks like that looks like a nice dog shit. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, my arms are fucking. Why shaking. is it you can tell? From, from your from your working, working out, out? Yeah. yeah and and probably withdrawals <laughs> it's drugs yeah, yeah dude why is it that when you you can tell human shit from animal shit i mean instantly i know this is good walking, also because, walking through i mean yeah. we're scientists yeah and, we're and in scientists. manhattan sometimes you'd be like that's a human shit because we have pit bulls around they have big shits but you're like that's a human shit what is that I think it's the smell number one yeah and i think the the size of a human shit is pretty consistent Dog shits, depending on the dog, changes in sizes, right? Yeah. But humans are pretty much all the same size. But we take different shits, loose ones, tight ones. Why are the ones out in public for human always solid logs? Because homeless people take good logs. Good logs. They have good fucking what shits. What the fuck? They're, they're, they have good uh, colon health. I don't know. I mean, it must be from the drugs mixed with the alcohol mixed Dude, with I the- Dude, I don't know. Do you, do you, I don't know if you remember mushroom, but at the end of the mushrooms- trip you take yeah. a shit it just comes out it just comes out and sprays there's not there's nothing oh. congealed about it in any way oh. oh did you ever have to do a shit sample for a doctor i gotta do it for bandit sometimes dude but, but yeah i've had to do it too what do you have to like save it dude they make you they make you do it you, you there's, there's no more you have to go home with a shit sample kit <laughs> oh you, yeah you gotta scoop with this you, with that little spoon well, the one I got was before the new one, I guess, because I got it like a tongue depressor. So I had like a little beaker, yeah. a little thing. I had to shit into something and then scoop it into this thing with the, 
it, there's nothing worse on plant. There, I mean, it was. I was throwing up. I was gagging. Your own shit. You can't take. Yeah. I could take what somebody else's. No shit. way. That's dude, wrong. Dude, my shit is worse than your shit. Yeah, but to your to yourself, dude, your shit for some reason is worse. Have you ever smelled your own shit? Yeah, I mean, it, it, out. Have you next time you take a shit? Yeah. Do it into a Tupperware thing. Don't do it in the water. Well, I'll tell you. Oh, well, okay. This okay. is gonna bring us to our next topic. But okay. go ahead. Go ahead. You tell me. Best shits you've ever taken. Wow. Should I start while you yeah, think? Please, yeah. Go ahead. Big J had a birthday party. Big J Okerson. Yeah. Um, huh. One of the worst dressed comedians. I, I mean, yeah. In New York. Um, and you know, everybody brought him presents. We were doing gas. Uh, not before it was gas digital. We was doing skanks why, at. Uh, why is he worst dressed? <laughs> I don't know. I think he's just bad upbringing. His father wasn't around much, if at all. I think he's. What don't you like about him? He's got hoodies. Yeah, he's got hoodies. <laughs> all right. Um. Uh. Yeah, he's got. I would say he's got hoodies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> would be like, hey, how does a fucking I don't know who's really well dressed? How do they dress? They've got hoodies. He's got, <laughs> he's got nice hoodies. Hey, people brought him birthday presents. It was at. Uh, it was at the old creek, and I. I know he likes Avenged Sevenfold. It's his favorite right. band. Yeah. And, Good uh, band. What? Love the band. Totally disagree. You don't like Avenged Sevenfold? Dude, they suck dicks. Suck dicks? Yeah. Each one of them sucks <sighs> multiple dicks. <sighs> it's not a bad fucking band. I'm not going to say it's the best band ever. It's Deport not them. Deport them. No. You know, you're obviously not going to say there's Zeppelin. Anyway. Um you're a trash person. That's like your favorite band. It is favorite band. He when he squeals when it comes on the radio. And, uh, maybe maybe you're right. And um and anyway, I know so I was like I got him a present of the new Avenged Sevenfold album signed. Right. That must uh, have hurt to, on, on to CD. Get. What? That must have hurt to get. Yeah. And so what I did is I put it in a case. I went to uh, uh, a bunch of stores. Eventually, I went to Home Depot. I needed an airtight. I needed an airtight box. My God. <laughs> I hope they put it in habit. I eventually went to a, pay, a bait and tackle box. Oh my god! They had it, but it was clear, so I had to wrap it. But I was like, he's gonna take the wrapping off, so I had to wrap the inside. Airtight, man. I mean, airtight. It solved water, whatever. So put wrapping paper on the inside, Ari, wrapping no. paper on the outside, and then I put a sock in the in the in the thing. And the, Ari, and then I shit Ari. right on the sock. Sorry. And I said, Jay, here is, and I still maintain that that was the Avenged Sevenfold album. And not shit on a suck. Dude, right. not only did I take the train over there, the, the L to the six, or not the L to the six, L to the seven. Uh, 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 not only that, I don't think it was Connect, but uh, I had it there the whole time uh, on the table. Ron Bennington was there, notable uh, graduate of uh, uh, Creeps with Kids. Love Ron. Uh, uh, legend. Um, legend. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Radio and comedy. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. um, uh, I sat there on, this, on the table the entire time. I was like, finally. I'm like, Jay, it's time to get to my press. I mean, we're talking two hours. <laughs> A young Michael Che was there. Pre Isn't that illegal? It that should be. I think it's illegal. Dude, when the box opened... <laughs> And the smell. Do you remember Scooby Doo when they would yell into a uh, into a into a bottle and they hold it up, <laughs> and then the scream would come out. It, it. Che was in the other room drinking in the bar. He said he could smell it in there. It cleared up. Mickey Gall was there. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think who else was there. It was so fucking bad. Ron Bennington had to put both his glasses on at the same time. That's how fucking bad his smell it was. It was, it was so horrific, and I, I mean, I, I've never laughed harder, crying as the room just cleared out. That was early mayhem. Dude, that what I mean when the best shit I've ever taken. Dude, that is the reason why people <laughs> love you and hate you. Yeah. There's nobody. <laughs> there's nobody who would ever. I mean, that is. That is just so serial killer yeah. thought out to be able to do that. Yeah. It's like, I, I don't want to know that story, but I'm so glad you told me that story. I'm so glad you did it. Yeah. It was so, it was so funny. I've never good. done any, I don't play with, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a shit, I'm not a shit, f I don't like playing with shit or piss. Like you've thrown piss at people. I have thrown piss at one person. Okay. But one is enough. I know, but he'll be dead soon. So what does it matter? Who? Zach Why is he going to die? 
So <laughs> I um yeah, dude. Favorite I, shits. I'm not into shit, but my okay. favorite shit probably maybe relief shit. No, I actually shit and hit Dawn once. What do you mean? Was she standing under your butt? We were on. It was. We were living in the city on Forty Third Street at the High Rise Building there. And, and we, did they have a trampoline? No, 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 no. We were. <laughs> <laughs> they had a badminton set, and I, uh-huh. I took, um, I took a fistful of shit and I hit it over the net right in her face. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Oh, we were, <laughs> I was like, how did your relationship survive that? We were snuggling on the couch Sunday afternoon. Okay. 12, 1. You know that time of day, it's just yeah. the sun's coming, but it's just... And we're snuggling on the couch watching a movie, and I had my underwear, and I had tidy whities yeah. at the time. And I, uh, we were just joking around. She was behind me, and we were just having that romantic little fun, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, This we weren't even married yet, moment. That's when she could still spoon you? When she well, she could spoon me, yeah, back then. Well, she was behind me, but yes, yeah. I was. Yeah, <laughs> she could spoon you again now. Congratulations! Well, not that she wants to spoon me now, um, but she was behind me, and I, I went to fart, and I just filled up my underwear. <laughs> the and unexpected it, shit, the fart turned shit. But it was not a mushy shit. It was there was a little. Sp- like it was a it was a full shit like so perfect that it didn't go through the underwear it hit but she felt it hit her like she uh, on felt the, underwear, the vibration she, it was hit her stomach like the shit uh, through the came out and hit her like that like she felt, she goes did you just fucking hit me with shit <laughs> through a fence she fe- she felt it through the underwear like oh my like God. a t-shirt with someone punching through the t-shirt she felt my underwear fell up and she, I panicked Cause I didn't, I knew I shit. Then I just, I was like, I don't know. I pooped my pants. Like I turned into a baby and uh, she, she was like, I don't, I was like, I don't know what to do. So I was so embarrassed. I was like, I, don't, I pooped. And she's like, go in the fucking bathroom, you idiot. So I had to walk in the bathroom with this load in my pants and you could see, it. Uh. you could feel the, the heft of it like a diaper. And I went into the bathroom and I, I go, what do I do? And I just took What do him, I do? I took them off and I put it, I just let it flop out in the toilet. And then what the the shit. Because it was dry. It was like a good Jesus. shit. That's lucky. So I flopped out in the toilet and then I was like, I don't what do I do? She goes, shower. Get in the fucking she was yelling at me like a baby. I just lost all my man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do. I You're just, just like overwhelmed. I was it was too overwhelmed. Like anxiety kicked in. Oh I didn't my know what God. the fuck to do. So I was in the shower and I heard her on her phone talking to her mom. And she was like, he fucking shit his pants, mom. I told him to go wash. He was just standing there with shit in his pants. He's like a he's like a two-year-old. I didn't know what the... She's like trashing me to her mom and I'm just in there washing. <laughs> you my, have to take it too because she's not wrong. I'm just washing my bum bum like with soap. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I had the underwear. I go, what do you want me to... Do we put these in the laundry? She goes, throw them out. <laughs> Cats <laughs> love their underwear. I do, man. <laughs> You did not shit his pants. Bobby Lee, Bobby Kelly in his new special. I have to talk about Bobby Lee. That's why I thought of him. Okay. Bobby Kelly in his new special. Killbox. Killbox. Robert Kelly Killbox. Killbox. Live from Tampa, I was going to say. It was live from Tampa. Live from St. Yeah, Tampa, yeah. But why do, why do they always say live from a place when you're watching a recording? Well, you did it live. You do everything live. <laughs> Film Walking Dead live. What are you fucking Mitch Hedberg? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, like any movie you've ever seen has been filmed live. What, what, what? Well, it was, it was live, but this was from opening to end, like live. That's, that's like uninterrupted. Music. It should be uninterrupted from Tampa. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you do cut still. You still mix six up, so it's still not even right. Uninterrupted from the from the comedy cellar from start to finish. <laughs> from start to, start to finish, with Bobby finish. Kelly. Uh, uh, but <laughs> Killbox is available right now on LouisCK.com, which brings me to an interesting point. Yeah, how do you spell Louis? <laughs> is it with an E at the end or an S? I E S I I E S Louis CK.com. It's not L O I E S. No, that's wrong. L O U I E S. No, I don't think so. Let me write that down. That doesn't seem right at all. Well, all you guys go to robertkellylive.com. That looks right to you? Yeah, Louie. Let me write in a cap so you can see. Louie. I can get it on the phone. Want me to get it on my phone? That looks right? Yeah, Louie. Louie. No, it's either this. It's either Louie, like yeah. that. No S. 
or or that. Louis or Louis. There's no I E S. It's I. It's Louis. E- all right, Louis. It's Louis C K. No, it's Lou E. What? There's no way. C K. No C K. We know how to spell. Uh, hang on. <laughs> I get no service in here. Why would I? By the way, you guys, check it out right now. But um, I'm right. You're not right. There's no way. I'm right. Why don't I have service? It in can't this be I E S. Why do you move here? Why do you live in the shittiest part of New York where you know, they ran out of names? It's they were texting you a second Alphabet ago. Alphabet City. Get the fuck out of here. There's <laughs> no parking. That's how it started. It started with D. No, uh, it couldn't have started with D. Didn't start with this. They were like, "What are we gonna do now?" The shit part of town. Just use letters. Shit part of town. It's shit. Um, Get a house. Move up near me, would you? Let the dog run around. Get a barbecue. Let's be men for yeah. the last 20. I'm gonna fucking kill myself to get here. We're in a fucking hovel. There's shit everywhere. This is where the spots are. Dude, your spots, you're done. It's over. All right? You're gonna get married this, soon. Why do you want to lay on the fucking- There's no fucking internet here. What do you mean you sat here? I'll get the Wi-Fi for it's you. It's okay. It's. I mean, it's Louis. It's, it can't it's be- Louis. Thi- <laughs> It's Lewis. L O U I E S. It's Lewis. I know you're Jewish and you think you're smarter than me because I'm Catholic. Well, you, you get wi- You get data right now. I get. Da- there's no data. It's not working for some reason. What's your Wi-Fi? Um, pr- uh, which one? Spectrum Setup Ten. Never S- changed it. Spectrum Setup Ten. Spectrum Setup Ten. It's not on there. Oh my God! It's not on here. Wow. Other. No. Other. There's no other. Other means you add one. Oh my God. You don't, you see, you think you're smarter than me. You think because you wrote, <laughs> I don't know where Spectrum Set of 10 have two is. Jewish parents that Wait, are very intelligent. Where? You think you're smarter. <laughs> you just give me the finger. That's very beneath you. <laughs> um, it's, 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 it can't be IES. Dude, where's, I mean, it's IES. If we want to. I'll get my, I'll get my phone. Get your phone. Yeah. And what do I get if I'm right? $100. Okay. okay. Yeah, great. Awesome. Listen, you brought my shot. Um, oh, that's your shot. Yes, poop. I have a I have a poop right now. It's funny when a when you're taking a shit and you have the poop. I actually enjoy the little tail sticking out when you can feel it. What do you mean? I like when you really have to shit, like when it's almost coming out and you're you're pushing it back up. You're doing Kegels on your butt and you have to poo. And then when you get to a toilet and you sit down and if you have your phone with you or something to read, a magazine. That's a good thing to talk about. I mean, dude, there's I don't know if there's a better day. What was it? Can you see that? What is it? Could your glasses help you? Are you nearsighted or wrongsighted? I'm both sides. Are you right-sighted or wrongsighted? <laughs> Because you might thinking, be wrong sided. Talk, talk to your doctor. I'm thinking you of might, Lewis. Lewis J. Gomez. His, that's L U I S. There's no E right. in either L- one. Yeah, yeah. No, there's no E. I told you that. I said that. But no look, Louis. L O U I E. Look at that. Look at that. It's Kill up already. Box. That's cool, dude. How does that look? That looks really cool. Wait a minute. I thought it was. Oh, October 8th. October 8th. You can't get it. It's October 8th. It's out you, now. It's out now, yeah. It's out now. You can go there right now. By the way, Bobby is also on an episode of uh, Two Comics, Two Cigars. Yes. Uh, that we did from a plantation. Uh, I like saying that. Um, I mean, come on. Uh, a plantation. Uh, I mean, it tobacco is tobacco plantation. It's a pota- it's a farm. They change plantation farm. to yeah. farm. Yeah. There's no more plantations. They change wandering Jews to fucking wandering dudes. No way. Yeah. Really? Literally, no one, no one gave a shit. They changed the the fucking Redskins to the Commanders. I know. The commanders? Isn't that worse? Didn't commanders do bad shit to people over time? You know what's even worse? What? Ch- there was too much gun violence in D.C., so they changed the uh, the bullets to, to the what? wizards, the w- as in the grand wizards. That's f- are they are they is they fucking with us? No, they're doing it on purpose. They're clanmen. Jesus, the Christ. guy who owns the, the West Unsilled and uh, Bobby Lee took a shit. That's what I was gonna say. Bobby Lee took a shit uh, at the La Jolla condo. I got there early, so like you can come early. We haven't cleaned it yet. I was like, no problem. It sprayed. It oh. was like on all sides of the. It was almost as oh. if he like fucking Korean th- 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 things above the toilet, 
and then jumped off as he shat. Like he was sitting on top of it. Yeah, but smoking sitting a cigarette. Of it, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Swatting and then and then jump run. By the way, you have to go to the bathroom or anything? No, why? I feel like I just ran you right in here to fucking. I don't have to do anything. Okay, I'm good. I, you know what? Uh, the worst shit experience. You want to hear the worst shit experience yeah. ever? Yeah, I got you this too. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Appreciate that. I bought a, a whole thing of them. I'm really proud of myself. You, because you brought mini waters. Yeah, I went. I went to the supermarket and I was like, you know what? Instead of getting people glasses of water, let's waste some fucking plastic. Yeah, make like some a real plastic. podcast. Yeah, give give some hippies something to do on a beach. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, fucking kill a turtle. Is it, we don't have turtles up here, by the way. Why do? Why can't we use straws? There's that's no a, turtles up here. I think they ship them off to where the turtles are. I think that's what they do. They ship them off to where turtles are and they shove them down their throats. Okay, so there's a company that does that? Yeah, it's a company. Oh, okay. Turtle Murder. I think turtlemurder.com. Turtle Is that, how do, you, how do you spell that? There's an E in that. There's an E in there. There's two. <laughs> Let's check what that is. You think that's a website? Turtle Murder? Yeah, but it's going to be a for turtles, not against them. Nope, turtlemurder.com is not a site. Guys, that's available. Turtlemurder.com. That. That'd be great. You think turtles is a website? Turtles app, 100% a website. 100%, right? And there's actually a turtle who owns it. Gary is his name. He puts up really good content. Turtle Turtle and Hughes, powering a better tomorrow. Do you, Yeah, fuck a turtle. Um. Anyway, it's on Louis, L O L O U I S. CK.com oh, available right now. Do you have to buy it? What's the story? Yeah, you have to buy it. You buy it. How yeah, much? You buy it. It's $30? Ten, 10 bucks. 10 bucks? That's it. Value yourself, dude. 10 bucks. Should be 30 bucks. 10 you bucks. Hard on. I, we're going to pay. the last time we did a special? Five years ago. That means, dude, anyone who did a special like six months ago, be wary. It doesn't mean you can't nail it in a year, but be wary. Anyone who did one five years ago, be excited. It's going to be funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's been a no, reason. I saw it. It came out great. Yeah, it came out great. We we um you never sent it to me. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I'll send it to you after. Um, it came out great. We we wanted a. We wanted to create a space, you know, like you know, like these comedy clubs because it's a it's a club comic special. It's not a theater. It's not a you know yeah that big elegant special. That it's a fucking down and dirty punk rock fucking club set it's me just murdering for an hour just fucking killing them stepping on their necks joke after joke as soon as i what's up fuckers and we go into it we left some really fucked up crowd work in there like louis thing was he says if it's funny it's staying yeah even crowd work he goes if i watch crowd work and it makes me laugh i'm putting it in and we have to cut something else out that's fine yeah and if it's not he's like if it's not killing then it's out you know it might be a great joke that's fine but, but right, if it's not out, it's not killing. What's the th- point? There's a couple jokes that I really love that didn't make the cut, but that's fine. Oh, put them on clips later. Yeah, and it's know? great. And visually, I've never seen anything like it. You said you wanted to make it look like Elvis. Elvis, Elvis is 68 special. 68. There's one shot when Elvis walks out, and you can see all the people around. Him. Yeah, <laughs> fucking ghost in here. <laughs> It'd be funny if Bobby Lee just came out of the AC and just <laughs> shit on us, <laughs> and then fucking took off. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's there's every camera shot has crowd. So it's not, you know what I mean? Oh, like wow, you can see, cool. you know. Because they're really all around you. I mean, they're pretty much all around me. We added 75 more seats the day of for both shows just to get them around. Wow. Um, yeah, it was great. We sold out in five minutes, both shows. You want to talk about what happened that one show? With that lady? Yeah. Yeah, it was fucking nuts. Didn't we talk about that? Did Hell? we talk about it on something? I, I think don't we, think so. Did we? No. I mean, you and I have talked about it. Yeah, the lady, I mean, I was 20 minutes into my set and- <sighs> To recording a fucking massive special. I was, yeah, you. I mean, I was nervous. I'll be honest. Yeah. I, I mean, it was a pretty big event, and you know, Louis C.K. directed one of the, one of the funniest guys in the who does it can, right now. Yeah, is one of the funny guys walking the earth. I mean, hilarious is directing this. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's surreal that he's, you know, and. I'm 20 minutes in and I get my groove. I'm like, I'm doing it. We got it. Yeah. And he, all of a sudden I hear, help her. <laughs> uh, please help her. Help please help her. her. Please help her. And I look and there's a lady like this. Oh my God. And it's my wife. I don't know. And I was like, what's wrong? I don't know. I don't know. Please help her. Just help her. Like, like that. And I'm like, guys, 
We got to help. You know, get her, give her my water. I gave her my I water. The comedian's got to be in charge now because you have a mic. It's like, I know I'm in charge of the room, but like, dude, just, just yell out. Are there any doctors? Like, fuck Bobby. Are there any doctors here? You help her, dude. Well, they, the crew, Louie's crew took over immediately. Whoa. And then the people around her, they took all the chairs and threw them up on the stage. They cleared like that area out. And then I actually stepped off the stage and was over by the door where I entered, just staring at this in a fucking daze. Oh my God. Like, I don't know. Are we done? Like, is it over? Is this late? Did a lady just die at my, how do I fucking, how do I, the crowd's fucked. Yeah. Like they're done. Somebody's, and they're carrying her out by her arms. <laughs> Just like dragging her. And Louis, Louis said, I saw her being dragged out. As soon as she went past me, I was like, we're good. Because she's that way now. Uh, he was like, I don't, we got to show, we got to shoot the show. So? It's like, hey man, time is money. And These guys he, are working. He just looks at me and he's like, we're good. Let's go. Let's come on. And I'm like, okay. So I got on stage and that's where you, that's where your funny comes in. Yeah. You're, you're natural. You're natural because you start. I, I don't know what I said, but I just started tra yeah. trashing the lady. Well, you know. You have to. I, Who I, the fuck gets an attack in that moment? Right. You fucking bitch. It was I'm glad you did. What are you looking for, you fucking it's pen? And, um, yeah, dude, it was bad. And I got back upstage, but I was in my head the rest of the show, to be honest with you. Yeah. That was the first show? Yeah, I got an eye headache. My, I had a really, like somebody uh, was stabbing my eye out of stress. And then- uh, and I get off the fucking thing. And then uh, and then we went out. And then the next show, I fucking nailed it. So Yeah, and that's it. I really don't know what show, show we use, though. The second show is really just for a couple pickups. Whatever the, not the second in not order. Not this one. But I'm saying, I'm saying yeah. the second of the two, whatever sure. the word. It's just like, uh, I messed up that line. Let me throw that line in. Right. So it's really just two chances. Next one's for fun. Right. And so you, the first one was for fun, and the second one was to use. <laughs> first one was nuts. It's better. They always get. Everyone always used to have a mediocre first set, and like Comedy Central always like, listen, that's good enough. We we got it. That's a B right. plus. We yeah. got it. Yeah. So now just go have fun, and that's right. when you murder. Yeah. The second one it was a hat. You have to murder. Yeah. You have to do this because if you don't do this, yeah, we're fucked. Because you might not have a good set. You know who's most worried about not having a good set? According to like, you know, some people take one set. And they're not worried at all, I guess. Who? Some people, low budgets. They have, they just do one set and they get on with well, it. Well, that's when that, that's because they're, they're. I think it's a little different than me too, though, because some people write jokes, yeah. and say them exactly the same way sure. every fucking time. Like you, they, it's a script, yeah. And there's no, dude. There's an animal in your fucking house. Oh, that, yeah. No, that's a fucking creature. It's been there for a year and a half. Though. Yeah, they live a long time. They live. They live. they live. There's something in your house. Here's who is the least confident in his act. That's why he had to record the most sets. Dave Chappelle did 16 sets at the Goat Store. The guy just doesn't know what he's doing. Could you imagine being the editor of Dave Chappelle? <laughs> and like, come on, dude. Can you give me some notes at least? What's <laughs> like watch and like you're watching the same jokes 15 and a half times. <laughs> And you're just like, I, he does I don't know. three hours a show. Yeah, it's like you ever, you ever like go back to your old uh, phone pictures and you see like eight of this and you have to try to like, all right, my eyes are good in that one. Dawn's eyes are a little different, but that, okay, she smiled. And you're like, it's all the same. I should have just taken one picture. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. I yeah. mean, the, it is, I think you do, four, the max would be four. I did four. Two and then two. Yeah. I would do, I would do four next time. 100%. Because at least you know you have the next night. Yeah. You know, like it's, I went it, to bed, the AC fucked up, so the second show was just too hot, and I was like, "We gotta get it. We gotta order ACs bad. We gotta get them tonight, overnight." And it was like, "Are you mad?" I'm like, "No, no. We have two more shows. We have a full taping tomorrow." Yeah, a it full was day's too hot taping. in this too. I think she had heat. It, it, they added created coastal creators added AC, but it wasn't enough. It's because you brought they, the heat, dude. Well, I brought the heat. You goddamn yeah. right. What's up, son? Brought the heat. <laughs> uh, but it was they didn't consider the 400 people that added. All that body heat into it, so it was hot. Yeah, very hot. Um, I mean, nothing on that. I mean, it's a literal. It's a fucking noise. It's a noise, dude. I'm so used to it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Well, maybe, maybe the elevator. It's it's been going on. It's an. It animal. doesn't pick up on on the mic. That's all I know. It's an animal. It might be an animal. You're an animal what? on stage, and you can see it. At LewisCK.com right now. No e. Um. No e. No e. Or a Robert Kelly Killbox.com. Really? It's yeah. a redirect site? 
Or robertkellylive.com. I got to tell you, after the podcast, I got to say this for Legion of Skanks, my favorite redirect that I found recently. Oh, you found you love redirects. Dude, this is a great one. Okay. I'm going to do it on Skanks. Okay. All right, let's get back to poop. Let's get back to shit. The worst shit of my life. The worst oh, shit yeah. experience of my life. Okay. I worked with uh, the six mentally retarded people, or um, uh, what, are they, what is it? This is Creeps with Kids? No, not the, that's, that's three. <laughs> <laughs> that was only one mentally retarded guy. <laughs> Boss. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I lived with these guys growing up, um, elderly MR patients. I got a free- Multiple rirosis? No, mo- multiple retarded. <laughs> How do you say it? Uh, what do they say now? They say uh, multiple sclerosis for retarded Down people. Syndrome. No Down syndrome. There was Down syndrome. Yeah, they were you know um, whatever uh, mentally handicapped. They call them now. Tards. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't say it about non-tards. If you're talking about about tards, you can say whatever you want. I don't know. I think you, I thought that's the rule. I'm pretty sure tards. I thought that's the rule. I think tards was the first one. They were like, yeah, we don't like that. How about botard? <laughs> Botard, I feel like, is underrated. You fucking botard. Because it sounds like a thing, but it's like, what does that mean? Well, if you had fucking in front of it, it makes it mean. Fucking you botard. Out, I don't mean, but but like, so is fuck you is also mean. Right. Fucking is also the same with Jew. Fucking Jew. Yeah, then it's yeah. like, yeah. yeah. It's, it's always mean. a Jew. Always a fucking Jew. Oh, it's worse. It's worse. Yeah, you're always a Jew. Hey, you want to hear a terrible one? What? Uh, it's just a slight change. Uh, blacks, you know, hey, he's black, yeah. whatever. yeah. At uh, he's a black. Oof. I don't know what it does. Oof. He's a black. It sounds like it's bad. It sounds like 1920s. Yeah, because and then black. all of a sudden you you hear a, a southern accent in it too. He's a black. He's a black. Yeah. He's a black. That's why. Yeah. It's like a question. Why did? Why would he? Why would he steal your clothes off the clothesline? He's a black. He's a black. That's what they do. Okay. They steal clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a Mexican. Is not as bad. He's a black. He's, he's a Mexican. Terrible. A Mexican. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's weird. He's a Jew. That's okay. He's a Jew. He's a Guinea. It's just a rarely used. He's a black. He's black. Yeah, they're black. He but is he, black. He's a black. He's a black. It's oh, it's terrible. Terrible. Um. So I were I live with six of them. Okay. In a house, I had my own room. Yeah, they had their own room. Three on the my three on my floor, three on the bottom floor. Okay. Regular family on the top floor. They weren't part of it. I had to be home from eleven to eight every, five days a week. I got paid a hundred dollars a week and food. I was going to college to be an art teacher and doing comedy at night. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oof. Were you? Yeah. Fo- you focused? It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. You want to fucking say hi to the dog again? No, he's looking at me. I don't know. He's a cute dog. He's a cute dog. Sorry. He's, really, he's fucking really, he's <laughs> way better, better than my dog. I would, if I could trade dogs, I'd take your yeah, dog. I think your son would too. Yeah, your dog follows you. Yeah, she's yeah, great. Way better dog. I love doodles, but not as much as your dog. Um, so there was, I had a, I'd just be there to be sure that, you know, they were high functioning. Yeah. They went to work and everything. Oh. Every, every day, I woke them up for work. What do they do, sort glass? Burger King, sweep, shit like that, trash bags, okay. you know, shit their pants. I wouldn't call you know them trash I mean? bags, um, yeah. Well, not them, but they would clean trash bags. Okay. Uh, they worked, where are they? worked all over the fucking places, right? Or they went to their schools or whatever, you know, their little places that they would go. They would jump on a van in the morning. Some of them took the bus, like Barry would take the bus. Okay. Uh, Pete would jump on a van. But Pete was one of the hard, tough ones, you know, it was tough to get him to like you. And uh, so anyways... You know, we're, we're six months into this gig. I used to bring girls back. I used to bring girls back to this place at night because they were in bed. I bring them into my room. We'll watch TV in the living room, and uh, you know that was my that was my home, and it was fine. Um, and I used to bang. And what know? would they do? They'd be in their room. They couldn't I, hear you. No, they couldn't. They were, room. Yeah, I do it late night. I do it like after ten thirty, eleven when they yeah. were asleep, and um. It was me and Rogan. The first time I hung with Rogan, we went back. We got two girls, went back to my my place. Really? In With wow. those guys. That's hilarious. We had like cappuccinos. We were in my room. I was making cappuccinos. I had like a little apartment, like a studio apartment in this room. Um, but anyways, I got this girl. Uh, I forget her name. It started with a T, Italian. Used my like my first uh, little kid girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. Back in the day. She lived in, a, she was rich, lived in the Winchester. I lived in Medford, the poor part. And we used to kind of date each other, but kid dating, you know what I mean? You're my girlfriend, I'm your boyfriend. Oh, right, right, kiss, right. Steady. Like, little tiny kid shit. I meet her later in life at like 25. 
24. Somewhere. Yeah. At a sh- I think at a comedy show, right? Okay. I'm listening. We go back to the, I bring her back to the place. She drives over. We're fucking making out. We're making out. And she's naked. She's got big titties, big Italian titties. <laughs> nice globes. She, she takes her panties off and she goes, I want you to fuck my ass. Oh. She's like, I want you to fuck my ass, Bobby. So you, you gotta understand, my head goes from us as a little kid, uh, well, boyfriend and girlfriend, to fuck my ass. My dick. This chick was so much more experienced than you. Dude, I, my, I mean, I. You, I, never fu- you never had sex with her before? Never, no. Wow. First date. Wow. I want you to, f- Bobby, fuck my ass. Oh my God. And I immediately obliged. Yeah, of course. You can't, I mean, it's, 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 it's that's chivalrous. Oh God. Woman I, asked you to do something nice in yeah, a nice way. Of course. Of course. So we start back. I mean, dude, I can't tell you how hot that was. Like how sexy that was. Just, I mean. You never it, had sex with her vagina? No. Straight to butt. Straight to butt. Women's lib. God damn it. It was so hot. So aggressive. Yeah. I liked it because I was always the, she was telling me what to do and I was just obeying. Yeah. And uh, right then, I'm, 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 we're going at it. And she's like, she's talking to me too. Because you can have ass sex and if she's not saying, oh, I love your dick in my ass, it's not good. Ooh, interesting. Why not? Because you feel like you're like. I need you to let me know that you know what we're doing. I can't believe you're fucking me in the ass. Oh. Oh. Like if you're just fucking in the ass, you're like, you're like, okay, whatever. After a minute, it's like, nah, it doesn't feel as good as a puss, right? Right. But if she's like, oh, your dick's in my ass. Isn't that naughty? Yeah. Is that what you like? It's like, oh my God. Oh, you, I love it in there. You like to, and it's like the talking really. And all of a sudden I hear, Bob, Bob. And I'm like, she's like, oh, fuck it. And I'm like, hang on one second. Bob, Bob. I'm like, I gotta I gotta go. I'm working. Oh my God, you're on the clock. I'm on the clock. I'm working. She's on the cock. You're on the clock. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> so I, I'm like, you know, like I care about these guys. I care about this, but I care about but these guys. It's your job, too. Yeah. It's your responsibility. You're responsible. Uh, guy. I, so I feel like, so I go in, he, he's in the bathroom, the guy, Pete. And I opened the door and it looked like he shit and spun. There was uh-huh. diarrhea shit everywhere. And this is before I had, you know, I, I, I'm i not good with shit. So I literally, I asked this the first day on the job. Do you have any questions? I have two. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and one, about shit. one of them was, I'm, I don't have to wipe their shit. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not a nurse. I'm not wiping old retarded guy shit. I'm not doing that. She's like, no, 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 no. They wipe their own shit. They're fine. They, they're high functioning. They're fine. They wipe their own. Okay, great. I'm in. You got me. I'm your guy. I love these people. These guys seem awesome. I'm in. As long as I don't have to wipe. You know what I mean? <sighs> now I got this. She's naked with her legs up in the air on the carpet in the other room, just wanting my dick a- and ass, ass. Yeah, dick and ass. And this is a girl I knew from back in the day. I mean, this is a fucking dream come true. Sexually. Yeah. And I go into the other room and there's just shit everywhere. I had to, as fast as I could, make him clean. Come on. I was like, dude, I was Come guiding on. him because I couldn't touch it. I guided him into the shower. Okay, so I said, get into the shower. I said, turn the shower on. So he turned the shower and he cleaned everything. I go, pants, everything, in the shower. So he cleaned himself. I go, wash yourself off. So he washed himself off. The shit all came off him. I off can imagine pants. you fucking rock hard, just poke it through your underwear still. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine old Bobby just kept on. Bob, why are you hard? It has nothing to do with you or the <laughs> shit. So then I got a mop and I kind of put the shit up and he helped me clean it. Because I couldn't do it. You know what I mean? So he helped me. I remember I had to get a piece of cardboard to push the shit onto the cardboard. Yeah. And then we would put it in the toilet. And I'm I'm going, you're talking about a pit crew fast. Like we're working together. You understand? He had to go back in the shower one more time because he got shit on some stuff. So we, we cleaned it up. I got it all together. It took around 15 or 20 minutes to be honest with you. Yeah. Just horrificness of Ugh. 
I had uh. to help this guy. There's no one to call. Couldn't call my boss. I had a chick over fucking. No, you can't, you can't call anybody. You can't let anybody know. So we cleaned all this stuff up. I got him in his room. I got him back in some clean clothes. We put the stuff in the washer and dryer, and I went back in the room, and she's still lying there. Waiting for it. Waiting, waiting for, for cock. And I told her, you got to go home. Why? I, I'm, dude, I just It's was, over. I, I'm not, I don't want to deal with shit right now. You already fucked her in the butt. I fucked her in the butt. She wanted to fuck in the butt. You know what I mean? Oh, right. And you're like, now you're like, now I know what's in there. I'm, yeah. Now like, I'm I, 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 I just, all I'm thinking about is shit. All's... Just shit. Yeah. I just was deep. I mean, I'm elbow deep in shit. And it's like, I'm I'm done. I sent her home never to be seen again. No, because you, di- you disappointed her. She wanted to come in her butt. So if you're out there, I'm married. Maybe you are too, but I'd fuck you in the butt. <laughs> We can meet up at a Holiday Express, <laughs> and I will fucking finish what we started, whatever your name is. Are you are you into hardcore sex? No, but I did say at a Holiday Express last night. <laughs> <laughs> Remember those? Yeah, I did one of those. You ever, do you like your butt played with? Not at all. Do you? Oh my god! Really? I had a chick ate my butt once, and it was uh, just like, "What are you doing? My butt's horrific. You like it? Yeah, your butt is bad. I've seen it. Wait." You're- yeah, sorry. There's a couple things because because we, we gotta like move a little bit because Please, you're yeah. in terrible directions. It was it, because of your fault. You can't blame the city. No. Um, it's nuts how long it took you. If, you're not an investigator. There's, there's you're there's, a scientist. You're over two today. <laughs> um, corn like food in your butt. Also bidets. Maybe we should talk about bidets. I'm the first one to get a bidet. You were one of the first. I'm one. I'm the first. I did bidets when it was gay. If you had a bidet, it was gay for a while. Gay. It was gay. It was gay. I was like, dude, I got a bidet. Oh, you like fucking shit in your ass, fag? I mean, I used to get that. You get shit in your ass. You you like stuff in your ass, man. You You, you, and you're like, no, no, I want less stuff in my ass. Exactly. That's hence the bidet. I was the first one to buy. I bought a four hundred dollar bidet, heated seat. Heated water. Oh, you got a good one. I got air. I got the top of the line bidet, yeah. and I got called a homosexual for having it. <laughs> I came out first. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Like, dude, you what the fuck? And guys would come over. Like, dude, use the bidet. Dude, I don't want stuff. I'll, you got heated seats. Heated one of those. seat. Heated. I had a fan. It dried your ass off. No. Yeah, I still do. Dries your ass off. You don't even have to use toilet paper. I just it. got one. I wasn't able. I had it before, and I wasn't able to use it because my old toilet was one of those fucking. In my old apartment, was one of those just, no backs. Yeah, you know, the, just these, like the streak. eighteen fucking <laughs> nineteen. No streaks on that. It just yeah. goes. <laughs> yeah. And so I find I had this, and I was able to. But it's not as good. Actually, rate my bidet. Let's do that. You rate my bidet on a one to ten. Eh, that'd be lame, actually. I'll tell you what it is. What? Is it a tushi? It might be a tushi. Yeah, it's a six and a half. So let's let's go see it. Actually, you see it. Take your mic with you. Take your mic with you. Take your mic with you. Rate it. Rate it as you. Wait. Watch the. Watch the fucking. Sorry. Did I hit it? Yeah. Yeah. You hit it. Where's your bathroom? It's right there. You rate it. I love that bowl. Is that a? Did you have that wooden salad bowl made? Hey guys, it's Ari Shafir. You know me from this podcast and from a popular webisode web series called Two Comics Two Cigars that I do with Robert Kelly. Go to Two Comics, Two Cigars on YouTube. We watch, uh, what do we have, three, four episodes up there now. Um, another one's coming out next week. We have the uh, Punch, Habana, or whatever, uh, the week after with Giannis and uh, and and uh, and, and, uh, and uh, Robert Kelly. Um, two Comics, Two Cigars. I will be a- appearing, my own stand-up hour, brand new hour, different from anything you've ever seen. If you've seen me on the road in Philadelphia in October, uh, Portland in the no- first week of November, and then we got Dallas coming up in December. We got uh, uh, Salt Lake City in January. We got probably F- Pittsburgh coming in January. Uh, I got uh, I got hopefully Montana. We'll see. Um, that's not even close to done yet, so that's probably not. And then uh, uh, Florida, Tampa, and maybe somewhere else in February. And we got Europe in April, hopefully. And uh, and that's it, you guys. And I'm hoping to do another another ski trip somewhere in the first weekend of March. So we'll see. But tons of dates available at arishafir.com. Two Comics, Two Cigars is only available on YouTube at youtube.com slash two comics, two cigars. And let's get back to the episode. Yeah, no good. I mean, it's good. Oh! <laughs> 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 You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> You're gonna 
gonna die alone. You're gonna die alone. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> You're a grown fucking adult. <laughs> what the fuck was that? You can flush it. Uh, it. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I'm out. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, you fucking set me up. <laughs> oh. We got him, Bandit. We got him good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was horrific. <laughs> that looked like an abortion. It was a sloppy one. Dude, what the fuck are you eating? There was <laughs> there was five different colors in that. I haven't drank in four days. You gotta do something, buddy. Stop this. <laughs> oh what consistency was that? It was loose. It looked it was like loose. couscous. <laughs> All right, come back in. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> Oh. oh, this is why you don't have friends, Ari. This is one of the reasons. This is why people. Uh, <laughs> I've been waiting on that. I've been sitting on that for so long. Bandit, we got him good, buddy. You wag your tail. Give him some love, Bandit. He knows you're in distress. He knows you're in distress. <laughs> Get him, Bandit. Help him out. <laughs> oh, buddy. That's going to be. In, I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> It's burned it. I heard music. I heard whap, whap, whap. I, I hear music. I heard music, dude. It's it's in my brain forever. It's like your cock. I can't get it out of my head. Dude, why would you fucking... You had to shit and save it. I saved it. How long? I didn't wipe. I didn't want to mess it up with toilet paper. I went straight to shower. That's why you had to clean up? That's why and I that's why like, you were I'm mad I was open. late. Yeah. Well, also because I wanted to spend more time with shit, but like, yeah. I was like, now I got to leave it in there, close the door. Did you take a picture of it? No. You. Oh, it looked like an it looked like a like an atom bomb exploding. It was not. I looked at it because I was like, let me see what I left in there, and it was it was one of those you know when you like don't have toilet paper, you have like two squares oh. left. Like, please let it be clean. It was not that. It required. It, Actually, a heavy shower. It, it was a pond. Like that should be in a pond. The poop ran down the, the like ran down the drain like like that scene in Psycho when the blood goes, but brown. There was blood in it. There was no. Was there? There was blood. Okay. There was blood up the top. That brings us to my next. Subject. I could do if this shit did a crime. I could fucking describe <laughs> it to the police. I could catch that shit if it was a criminal. Uh, it's the worst thing. I've... Oh God! Um, you ever blood? You ever shit blood? Yeah, I didn't start shitting blood until fucking you came to my house and ha I mean, had a hysterectomy in my fucking toilet. And then I, you started. And then I remember I called you. Your butt was like, "That's a good idea." <laughs> Hey, your friend, he's got some cool ideas. I don't know what it was, but a week later, I think uh, something, maybe I have hemorrhoids and I think something happened. And and I, I was bleeding out of my asshole to where I was nervous because oh. it was like you're wiping and it's not, it's not like the red blood. It's like that deep blood. Yeah. Like, you know, near your heart blood, <laughs> like an artery. <laughs> that deep blood. <laughs> but it went away. It went away. You stopped. It's a weird thing. Your asshole heals quick. Yeah, it's resilient. It's resilient. Like you'll get, you'll, you know, something bleeding or something, and then it, and then you're done. You're you good. ever have chafing where it like hurts, and you're yeah. like, ah, I've been walking all day or something, and it chafes, like, fuck. And you go to sleep, you know, you have to wipe it off, and maybe you yeah. use the bidet, like just no shit, just bidet anyway, you yeah. know? And you're like, ah, it's still chafed. By the next morning, you're like, it's fine. Yeah, your asshole is like magical powers to heal. Yeah. Because it has to, because it has to get sh shit out. Yeah. Or you'll die. Or you'll die. And if you can't, if you're afraid of shit. If you get an infection of the butt, you're dead. Here's the thing is when you, you I don't know, you're never going to have kids, right? No. I had a vasectomy. You did? Yeah. Fuck, Took care why? of it. I love that question. It's my favorite question. Why? Like, take a stab. Because you do shit like that. But that's why you'd be a good dad. Why? Because you go, son, blood? son, go look in the bathroom. <laughs> and he'd go in and be like, Dad!
dad. I can... <laughs> You'd be the best dad ever. You know what though? I'm yeah. a pretty good like fake uncle, and you are you... Max. Fucking, I've never seen Max take to anybody. You and Colin Quinn. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's so much. It's so much fun how little he cares about Joe List when we're both over there, and how much <laughs> he loves me. Want nothing to do with Joe. Nothing. List. He's like, I'm all. He's his love is all based on chin, and Joe has none of it. <laughs> well, Joe wants it too much. He's too he needy. Wants it. Joe wants it. You just show up. You're just there. But I'd be a good uncle. And I, I, I was talking to uh, Jay's daughter when she was about 14, went yeah. to a Thanksgiving. I'm so fucking sore. Went to a Thanksgiving. <laughs> and I was like, hey, I brought you something. And she's like, what? I'm like, oh, wait, hold on. I have it. And I was looking in different pockets. And I pulled out my middle finger. <laughs> and she was like, like yeah. I'm like, like you just see, like I didn't know an adult could be like that. Yeah. I'm going to do that at school. Everything had changed her fucking whole yeah. life. I just realized right now that I'm going to get Max on that fucking same thing. Well, you already got him because we're walking down the street one day and he... And he just took his shirt off. He goes, Dad, take your shirt off. Sun's out, guns out. Let's go. <laughs> Sun's out, guns out. Just doesn't care. And it's I was not like, that he doesn't care. It's that he does care. <laughs> doesn't care means he already had his shirt off. And you like put it on. It's like, what's the difference? No, no, no. He made an effort. He does care. <laughs> yeah. He, 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 when I say I'm talking to you or I'm going to see you, yeah. he's like, can I go? And I'm like, someday I do want to bring him in. Yeah. Why don't you take him one night? All right. I mean, <laughs> It's a lot of responsibility. It's like, I like you know, I like seeing them when, when it's like. <laughs> you can leave? You can leave. Because you know how kids get? They're usually good, and then sometimes they're like not, and I'm like, ugh. Dude, Max is cool. So like all my brothers and sisters, I'm like, your kid's being an annoying. Get it away. I'm done with it. Are you so you turn into a queen? Uh-huh. Get it away. Get it away. Yeah. Um, dude, Max is the best. He's really mature. Max is great. I came home He's Saturday an adult. night. I see it now. Saturday night at, at 12.30. Yeah. And I went into his room. No, he's on the couch, and I was like, what's up? He goes, what's up, Dad? I go, you want to go to the diner? He goes, yep. Puts yep. his shoes on. We're in the car. We go to the diner. Sat on the fucking, at the uh, counter. Yeah. yeah. Counter. Always, we always sit at the counter. Yeah. And he ordered a, a shake and fries. I ordered eggs and a salad. We just, he sat there and just talked to me for two wow. hours. Wow. We, he was like, Dad. And then there's this thing. He's talking about Mr. Beast. And they give away the money. And he's just, oh, yeah, I mean, I we're Mr. just Beast. having these conversations like legit, like I'm totally interested. Like he's not boring me he's at all. He's finally getting to that age where you really can communicate with him. Even he's not like he's he's still cute, but he's yeah. doing things that are like you can relate to, right? On an even level. Yeah. Like who's this you're listening? To? It was like oh, it's a new band. You should listen to. It. It was like oh, okay. Like instead yeah. of like oh you like the shark song, that's cute. Yeah. You know? But like no. this like oh who is it? Arcade dude, Fire? Th oh. this dude he goes put on some real rock and roll. I go like what? Damn. He, he goes um um. I fucking I'm losing my memory, dude. Who is it? Um, you smoke too much weed. I don't smoke weed. Then I don't know what it is. I mean, dude, I'm losing it. St uh, not Stone Temple Pilots. Um, the other one. Temple of the Dog. Nope, the other one. The other one. Uh, Pearl Jam. Axl Rose. Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. Can I tell you a travel story with Guns and Roses? You and them? No. I still see your shit like I just saw it. <laughs> I mean, it's still in my face. Your face turns into the shit every once in a while. <laughs> Go ahead. I landed at Kupang in uh, Indonesia, and I was headed to East Timor. Uh, I was going to take the land border. I got in a cab. Um, in these weird cabs. I'm in the I'm in the front seat. You don't you don't sit in the back in a lot of these places. Right. And on the radio, and I, I've already been traveling for two and a half, three months. And uh, Guns N' Roses came on the radio. I was like, oh, this is so cool. Like, you know, welcome to the jungle or something. So I was like, hell yes. Mm. And uh, just like, I was like, ah. And then the song ended and another song played, Guns N' Roses. And he had a Guns, he had that album. He had that fucking album. And it was right. just such a, took me back to like, this is so, and I was like, you got the whole album? And I think he was just like, I don't know, I found a tape. I don't think he cared. Right. It's the, one of the greatest albums of all time. And I yeah. sat there and listened to the whole thing. They really are, drove. man. Yeah. It was fucking rock great. And, roll. and your son's into that now? He's into it. We we took a like, you know, when he gets a little fucked up with his mom or he's getting a little out of control, I just go, let's go, and we get in the car and we drive, and he we go back and forth on songs, and but I'll theme it yeah, out, song to song, song to song, and I'll theme it out where I'll go, dude, all right, we're doing eighties rock, so we'll go back and forth. He he likes Led Zeppelin, um, I did, he, 
my other son's kid, he was doing that same thing. He's like, let me tell you about a rock song. He was all proud of himself. He's like, I'll show you one. And I, it's Orthodox Jew and his kid. And I just put on wet ass pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he was like losing his dad. I was like, all right. Yeah. I mean, so what's he into? <laughs> what did he get you on 80s rock? He gave me, uh, he liked Led Zeppelin. Of course. He liked it's Ozzy. ACDC was his big one though. Oh, what a great album. Holy Zeppelin shit. Zeppelin 80s? Uh, seventies, seventies, but I bet they spanned, right? Yeah, they spanned a little bit, and then he died. And then he died. Giannis Papas. Yeah, answer. Come on, go ahead. I'm shaking. Why are you shaking? Because I'm working out. Giannis. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, did I call uh, Ari or Bobby? I think I called Bobby. Well, think again because you did call Bobby, so you're right. It's nice to think twice about oh. something you're right about. But we're doing right. a podcast. Are right, you guys are doing two? Two cigars. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, Yannis. <laughs> Which uh, Giannis is on, by the way. Me and Giannis did an episode of Two Comics, Two Cigars. Two, <laughs> two cigars. Okay, great. Yeah. Wait, Giannis, we're talking about shit. Do you have any like favorite or, or least favorite shits of all time? Oh, wait a second. You're. I'm. I just said that on the air. It's bleeps. Don't worry about that one. Uh, <laughs> Both you guys got bleeped on that. <laughs> Do I got any, do I have any shit stories? I got tons of shit stories. Yeah. My life is a shit story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got tons of shit stories. I um I uh I shit my pants in my own house with my mother-in-law over and <laughs> I was standing in the kitchen in my underwear and there was, you know, there was, she was there, so I had to like keep my back from her the whole time so she was like she was like moving around the kitchen and i was pretending like i was playing like uh you know defense on her in basketball where would she go i just kept her in front of me <laughs> and it was the middle of summer and the only thing i could do was throw them out in the fireplace so i told her i was cold made a fire and i threw my underwear in the fireplace you burned it I burned. I couldn't throw them out in a garbage can. I don't live in a big house. I couldn't chance her finding. Yeah, throwing something underwear. in after you. Yeah, so I finally got away, changed my underwear, and then and then I was like, I gotta burn these. So like while I had a moment, she was away. I started a fire, and she goes, well, "You starting a fire?" I was like, "Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm cold. Maybe I got COVID." <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is recently. Yeah, this is recently, and I was like, "Yeah, maybe I got." I think I got cold. I don't know that, you know, she was like feeling my head and it was like, and finally I just, I was able to like, I had them, I, I, I had them on me. It was like, and they were full of shitty, but you know, they were shitty, but I had them and I was hiding them. And then I just chucked them into the fire and got rid of them. That was how I solved that problem. It was the solution I found. It wasn't the easiest but it was worked. All the evidence was burned, just like Jeffrey Dahmer polarized all the bones. I threw my, my underwear in the fireplace. Damn, that's, that's fucking that's great. That's a fucking perfect uh, walk on. That's that's a great walk on. <laughs> Giannis, he's gonna call you back in no time. Uh, don't, don't forget to listen to Giannis Papas' podcast, Long Days. <laughs> yeah. Great. Goodbye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He's like, wait, I said that on him. No, you didn't. <laughs> no way. Nineteen seventy one. Seventy one. Oh my god. That the, I was I was one. This is an early one. I was one. I was negative fourteen. Um You're you're younger than me. Yeah, I'm thirty one. Why do you look older than me? I don't look older than you. Hundred percent you do. Well, I've lived better I've lived better. <laughs> you had your hard days in your recuperative years. How I many push ups are you up to? Today? Yeah. Um forty five. That's good. How many in a row? Five. But I did three sets of five today. But but that's as much as I did the first day, but my arms are jelly, so I feel like I'm getting stronger. You are. Yeah. You look stronger a little bit. Your arms look good better. Ugh. I'm like I'm hurting all the time. I try I literally I'm on the phone and then I've like I gotta switch hands so I can it's like I can't even hold the phone to my hand. I, I, I out did, of energy. I did it yesterday. I did 30 in a row. Wow. Yeah. I, you gave me hope. Why? For Sober October. Because you said the less titty challenge One, that yeah. you started with how many push-ups? Two. two push-ups you could I do. I can do two push-ups and that's it. And then by the end of, what is it, a month? Or? I did 55 by the Straight. end. Straight. Straight. In how long? Two years? It's on, you can see it on my on my YouTube page. YouTube.com. The, the last Live. 
uh, less titty challenge. Yeah, I think I did fifty five straight, and I do them on camera. And after how many? After how long did you get to fifty five? Five days a week, doing push ups at the end of every. So For how long? Fir- a month? Two months? Two months? Month. One it was month. thirty day less titty so challenge. Fifty five, dude. If I could do the, if I could do this push ups in two reps, as opposed to right now, I'm at about thirty five reps to get to a hundred. I do five, five. It should be easy with four, you. Four, yeah. two, one, 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 one. It should be easier because you're lighter. It's like pull-ups. You can do. You, you'll be able to. But do, weaker. You're Big weaker. People have more muscles. Yeah, I mean, look at that arm. It's got nothing on it. It's got nothing. No meat. Yeah, I mean, you get a, this at the restaurant at the Cannibal yeah. Restaurant. You're like, yeah. come on, man. I'm not a tourist. Like a hunter would let you go. Like you'd be, you'd be like, there. No, let that. That one's. That's. I not have the no one. fear of sharks. That's not the one we want. Yeah. No, no, no. Get the one. Catch the, and release. Get the fat ball one behind him. Let's get that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, you ever find shit in your, in your, I mean, a food in your shit? What is that, by the yeah. way? Everyone has. Yeah, but it's, it's well, again, it? we're scientists because you don't, I want to know what it is. An entire it, piece of broccoli or corn? Yeah, just like corn undigested? A, mine's the, my favorite is a pepper. A pepper. Because like a full it, pepper. it pops. No, like a piece. Because it's like brown and then red, so it pops red, like yeah, art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't it's know like why. The, it's like the Schindler's List girl in a dress. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but how come somebody... <laughs> I'm never going to watch that again without fucking thinking of a load of shit. Next time you watch it, you're going to be in the middle of crying and just start laughing. People are like, don't be so callous. Has somebody done like shit art? Gotta be. There's gotta be shit art. Gotta be. I mean, and a billion you, percent, yes. I would 100% I think go someone see that. actually, I think I remember mixing shit with paint. So I can paint no, it, no, no, no. We're no. not talking about that. I'm talking about getting shits that people have done. Oh. That'd be a great, like, taking Brad Pitt shit and George Clooney shit. This is not that, but look at this. All right. A green clothes just to get my information. That's great. A giant fucking. Poop. My two, the kids are all running around it. <laughs> They're running around it. Is it what is what poop is it? Is it Euro News? Beauties and I'm, all right. Uh Rotterdam's Museum Boijmans van Booningen can see giant imposing sculptures of turds. Hey, I might go to Rotterdam in fucking April. I'm trying to get my <clears throat> wait, shit art. There's gotta be. Yep, here we go. Real shit art. Okay. Let me see. Oh, he's actually making art with shit. With shit. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking getting a shit and seeing all the different types of shit from people. Interesting. Like taking like a dude from the jungle and letting him shit. And what does his shit look like? Getting a baby shit or a stockbroker from New York shit. You know? Yeah. And just putting all different types of shit. And you can walk down and see the person's face. And you know what they do, what they eat, yeah, what they and get do the, for the work. backstory of it. Get the backstory of the shit. That'd be a great little exhibit. I would see that. Yeah, I would. See I'd go it. see like, you know, Colin Quinn shit, Chris Rock shit, Irish like comic shit. Yeah, what do they have that that week? What do they have? Well, you've, yeah, you've seen it now. Your shit would be. I mean, I don't know how you'd even get to. Dude, that. I took such a bloody one once. I, there's no way I can show this on YouTube. No, no way. Not unless you got a doctor. Yeah, a you would have to doctor call him right now and talk about shit and then be like, Well, I took this. What do you think of that? It was so red with like with like with like fields of red. It looked like the northern lights of red in my shit. I don't know if it's because I was eating so many gummy bears or because it was blood or a mixture. Yeah, but your shit, dude, your shit makes me nervous. Because when you bled at my pill you were wiping your ass, yeah. going like this, oh, yeah, and it that. was dark red. And you did it five or six times. Yeah. Like oh, yeah, every. It just pours through. It gets on the finger. It goes right through. I don't understand that, dude. I like, had a colonoscopy. It's fine. Yeah, I know, but it's. it's You say. It's not fine. You're right. It's not fine. It's not fine. You're supposed to shit and not. <laughs> and not bleed at all. Not bleed at all. And then there's, then there's the. One step up is a tiny bit of blood. And then there's way, way more steps up. It's so much shit that. So much blood never stops flowing that and, toilet paper no longer works. And that's you. That's me. That you at my house. Yeah. Like we're going to hike a mountain. I've got it out of the way. And yeah, but but I was nervous that day. I was like, I, th- I went to Dawn. I was like, I think Ari's sick. But, and she's like, why? Because he, he, he. You're right. He's bleeding. Like his asshole's bleeding right now. What'd you say? Like your toilet paper hit the water and changed the color of the water. Yeah. 
I, that's it not. It starts to come out like it's like a yeah, like it's a tea bag. Yeah, right, right, yeah, right like you you're drop steeping, it into the water, it just steeping starts, tea. So you see it like. <laughs> um, I guess let's do this and let's we'll wrap it. For you. I got a meeting in sixteen minutes. Um, I hate when comics say that. What I got a meeting. I, I got a meeting. It's like hum- you're it's humble brag. Yeah, I know, but it's yeah. like no, no. I'm calling. You're right. I'm calling myself on it. I'm admitting it. Thank you. This and actually, this is so douchey that it negates your two wrongs. You were just wrong. Oh. I was wrong, and I knew better. What was I wrong about? Um, two things. Louis C.K. Okay, I'll take that. And I that you didn't say cab. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying my wrong outweighs both. Okay, those wrongs. I'll t- I'm happy about that. Yeah. Thanks. You're wrong. I have a meeting. Yeah, I got I oh. got to go by four. You got to go by four. Who so gives a fuck? We what have 15 are... minutes left. Is what I should say. Oh yeah, say don't even say that. Just, just go until it's 10 minutes and wrap yeah, it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, figure this shit out in your head. You, hey man, I got a meeting and I got a meeting. I got to go, so let's wrap it up. That's like the guy who at the end of the show goes, "All right, guys, I got to go, but uh, I got one more." They should were all I... shitting on this one comp. Exactly. I got to go. Freddie Soto said that. Never say I got to go because then you're giving away all your power. It's like them telling you you got to go instead of saying that's it for me. I'm out. You know, I'm out. Thank you. Robert That's, Kelly. Uh, bye. Yeah. Don't say like, I got, it's like saying like, oh, so you don't decide? I thought you were. And you're the middle guy. Yeah, you're you gotta guy. go. Yeah, you gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're not here for you. You knew that. You were serviceable. You fucking knew that. Yeah. I gotta go. I got, uh, I, before I go, how about this, before I go. Before I go. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah. That's Just go. One. Yeah. Before I, I go, I gotta tell you, what, what is this, what, 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 what are we doing? Before I go. Okay, so now they're out of it. Now they're thinking about what just happened instead of. You, you say that to your wife. Hey, before I go, where are those bananas? Yes. Yeah. Hey, before I go, where D- are those anal beads? Put the, yeah. Hey, before I go, are you going to fuck that dude today while I'm out? Yeah. Before I go, because I'm going to be thinking about it when I'm gone. I'd yeah. like to just see your face. Hey, before I go, is it okay if I go to a massage parlor and get blown by yeah. a middle-aged before Asian I go, woman? I need to know now. I actually need to know I, now. Right now. Before I go. Right I'm going, now. so right. I need to know before I go. Right. So if you're like, wait a minute, like I can't, I'm going. You need to answer me about the massage parlor. Before I go. Before I go. Yeah. You as a comic, a middle person. Or a headliner. You say good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. You fucking piece of shit. And that goes. My through. favorite also is at the at the cellar, the stand or something, and they go, um, check me out on Instagram at so and so and so and it's like they're not gonna. They don't have their phones. Who's gonna remember that your fucking Instagram handle? It's very you just I'm Robert Kelly, and then you yeah. Google me, and if you're good enough, they'll find you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um Um What's your wipe game? That's interesting. My wipe game has changed. You know? Mm-hmm. Dan Soda. Should we do that? Yeah, again? we should do that. Oh, I'm shaking. It's a great podcast. Soda. Soda. Bobby. It's Ari. Listen. Ari. Yeah. I'm glad you're here because Jay, Jay's sitting right next to me. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Okay. Because, Bobby, have you looked at your phone? Wait, 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 wait. We're in the middle of taping a podcast. <laughs> Well, that's crazy because we're in the middle of the bonfire right now. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. Oh, crossover. (laughs) Yeah. Crossover. We're at commercial break right now. But, Bobby, have you looked at your phone? I have not. I will look at it right now. Please. Please. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're talking about poops. What's on your phone? Oh, no. (laughs) Bobby. What the fuck? You have to call into the bonfire. What the fuck? Yeah, we're done in five minutes. He'll call in. What the fuck is that? Bobby. What the fuck is that? Bobby, we are coming at you from people that we love. Bobby, uh, we love you. Call, uh, call me back in five minutes. Yeah. Bobby, text me when you're done because we need your, We need to do our pre-tape and we want you to call in. So call call me in five. Well, he'll call you in five. Jay, before, before we go, yeah. attest to the truth of this. We're doing a podcast about poop. Did I give you an Avenged Sevenfold album for your birthday present one year? Yes, is, is it a pile of poop? <laughs> it is. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll call you. I'll call you back. <laughs> oh, that's coming back to haunt me. <laughs> what is that? That is. What the fuck, fuck dude? Right, dude ready? I gotta unbleep what Yana said. <laughs> Stupid Dawn. Yeah. You know, I do that dumb cameo thing. Don't blame this on Dawn. Let me do it first, okay. and then I'll pull back. Okay. Like your meeting thing. Okay. You did it, and okay. then you pulled okay. back. Okay, okay. The cameo. So Dawn was like, you should do stuff for Valentine's Day. And she was like, I'll make you, I'm gonna, I'll make you into a Cupid. That'd be funny. And you could leave Valentine's Day stuff for people. 
So she went to uh, that craft store, Michael's. Yeah. And she made me a Cupid outfit. And I put it on and I did. <laughs> Dude, Cameo comes at me once a year and says, we'd love you to join. And I go, you let everybody see the cameos that are meant for one person. It's embarrassing to comedy. And they go, well, we think it like that. Like, you're letting it all out for everybody. You, you didn't make that for the bonfire. And yet now the world is going to see it. And I got to call. cameo. I'm going to catch such a pounding right and now. And you know you should. <laughs> I deserve it. I'm going to hit my wife when this, I get home. The look on your face, I can see the feeling on you was the same feeling during quarantine. During quarantine. I mean, like deep quarantine. I got a call like, oh, you did a Sam Adams commercial? What, I, what 70? I'm like, oh, no. Just the sinking feeling. This is this is the worst than your fucking sincere friendship Sam Adams commercial. That's, that's bad. This is up there. Yeah. This is up there. Because you know why it's worse? I have an outfit. You have an outfit. You <laughs> went for it. I fucked up. You went for this. You got confused. I got confused. I lost my place. I went for it. Yeah. I have an outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear Dan? The excited Bobby. 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 Bobby, you got to call in. Bobby. Bobby, Ari. we need you. All right, listen, I love you, buddy, but not now. Bobby. <laughs> but he said my name. <laughs> you have to call in. Uh, all right. All right. Well, there you go. Let's wrap this up. Yep. Robert Kelly, killbox.com, a louisck.com. Go to louisck.com, O O I S L O U I S. Uh, ck.com what is it robert kelly killbox.com yeah or robert kelly live.com you go to any one of those buy the special it's 10 bucks uh you guys support you gotta support guys i, I sometimes people say like well it's just worth it i'm getting this i'm getting that as fans of stand-up comedy you're not just it, it's like i have a weakness for music and every time i see a musical performer or even a dancer on the subway yeah i'm like that was cool yeah, you are decent. I'm. I give him a dollar, twenty if, bucks, and if I don't have a dollar, I give him a five. Yeah, because I'm like, this is great. I like having this in my ears. Right. If you support comedy, first of all, you're gonna love it. You get something in return. Yeah. But even if he was like, hey, I had to do a set. Can you guys just give me ten bucks? You still should. Yeah. But you're getting it special. So go to louisck.com or Robert Kelly Live Killbox. Robert Kelly Live. Robert Kelly Live. Or Robert Kelly Killbox. Com. I mean, it's going to be everywhere. It's going to be everywhere. You'll so go find get it, it. Uh, at the bottom of the screen uh, when you're listening or if you're watching on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, it's a great special. It's funny. It's outrageous. There's some great stuff in it. And uh, I'm fu I love it. I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah. I just, I'm fucked. I mean, this is fucked. I got to <laughs> You're like, ah. I forgot all about that. You can see that. it coming now. I'm going like to kill my wife. <laughs> I'm going to fucking delete Cameo right now. <laughs> it's out there. I got to call. <laughs> I'm done. I hope they don't find one with me in a, in a diaper. <laughs> I have one with a diaper and a bonnet somewhere. <sighs> um, um, that's so fucking great. You're fucked. You're fucked. Um. Also, you know what, dude? Podcast and uh, and and Bobby's uh, web web series that I'm part of called Two Comics Two Cigars. It's only on YouTube. Yeah. At YouTube.com/slash Two Comics Two Cigars. It's not here. If you're watching this, it's not here. It's somewhere no, else. It's not here. I'll show you what they sent. What's that? Who sent you that? Packaging. From what? Stadium series. Did they send you that, or did they send us that? And then cigars went in here. They're in this humidor right now. But did they send us that? They sent us that. So it's not you. Yeah, I owe you some. But look, it's like I mean, the Yankees edition. I mean, that's Stadium insane. Series, 12 that's cigars, insane. Havano Cigars SA, Honduras. I mean, where are the cigars? They're in there. You want to see it? I mean, you gotta this it is going to become a... This might fuck up our friendship, dude. I hope it does. But no. <laughs> <laughs> I smoked it with Sagalo and, and Feeny. Uh, not Feeny, Sagalo. You, they smoked it before me? Sagalo and Cannon. We smoked one of those. Because I was like, oh, I how was I it? You. Pretty good. Pretty fucking good. I mean, we got a. I mean, we got a divvy. I mean, part of this. Part of it's divvy. It's divvy. All right, I got ten. I smoked three. We still got seven I, left. I'll take two. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, you'll take two. That's I got off easy with that. Be, you shouldn't <laughs> say. Hey, you should be. Do you should take four, or say three. There's seven. You should have asked for seven. There's ten. Yeah, you should have asked for seven. I should, I should get five. 
but you led with two, and there's no way we're going back up to five. <laughs> I mean, just I as care. a Jew, it's but you got a cigars from the other guys too. Yeah, dude, listen, man, <laughs> you can't just guys reach out if you do cigars <laughs> to my PO box. I can tell you where to send these cigars to me. And the ch- uh, odds are, me and Bobby might smoke them on two comics, two cigars if they don't get smoked. United, before. that's that's my guy. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's the guy I know. Guys, I wish all of you the best poops you can possibly take. I hope they're smooth, and I hope your friends and your friends' kids see them. I'm Ari Shafir. For Bobby Kelly, this has been Ari Shafir Skeptic, episode 489. Wow. Something, something. I need a title. I'm in trouble. <laughs> You're in trouble, dude. I'm You're in, in trouble. trouble. Giannis? Giannis called me? <laughs> yeah, you in trouble. I- that's the worst when you just nothing's happening and your shit blows up. Jeff Richards had a bit about it. He goes, if you go out to like Maury Povich or something like that and you like enter and there's an empty chair there, he goes, your life is about to be over. <laughs> your life is three minutes from over. <laughs> that was fucking funny. Yeah. All right. All right, buddy. Buddy, I'll see you later. Peace. Bye, everybody. Well, that's the episode, you guys. I hope you had a good time. Don't forget to check out Robert Kelly's special, Killbox. It's available right now on louisck.com. Ah, ah, you got to pay the piper. Oh, these push-ups kill. Oh. And don't forget to check out Bobby on a new episode of Two Comics, Two Cigars. It's on his own YouTube account. YouTube.com slash the number two comics, the number two cigars. It doesn't say the number. Just two comics, two cigars. Every uh, couple weeks... We put out another episode where we smoke a cigar. You guys, uh, we're starting to let you know on one episode what we're going to smoke the next one, either in the description. Uh, what's up, Bandit? How you doing? Or um, it, actually saying it. But uh, next week, it's the punch. I forget what it is. Punch something. I don't know. It's on there. Two comments, two cigars on YouTube. Don't forget to check that out. And get Bobby special, everybody. And don't forget to come see me in Philadelphia, October 20th, 21st. On uh, 22nd. God, it was worth it. It was worth it. Roger Waters on acid was worth this. Oh, oh. Uh, helium in, that's it, helium. Helium in Portland as well. November, I don't know, 3rd through 5th. Oh. <sighs> Dallas at Hyenas, December 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Salt Lake City. Pittsburgh is coming in January. Salt Lake City in January. Oh. <sighs> I don't know where else. Oh, oh, oh yeah. And Tampa, Florida, it's available. Uh, first weekend, oh, I'm going to throw up, of mm, oh, February. All tickets are available oh, at AriShafir.com. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Ari Shafir Skeptic Tank, episode 489 or 490. I think 49. Ah, uh, Poop for Bobby Kelly, who has a new special out right now on LucyK.com. I'm Ari Shafir saying, So long. Mm.